What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at my new adjustable standing desk from Odin Lake. I've been looking around for a new standing desk for a while now and this one just seemed like a really good value for the price and I'm really glad that I ended up with this one because this thing is just built like a tank. The one I have here is in their wood color but it also comes in white, maple, or black as well. Same with the legs. The ones I have here are in black but when ordering you can choose between white or black legs. So a little bit of customization there so you can get the final look that you're after. So taking a look at the desk itself, this is definitely a very, very nice looking desk. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it when I saw it online from the photos. But as soon as I took it out of the box, I just instantly fell in love with it. The finish is very nice looking and it just looks and feels like it would cost two to three times than what it actually does. If it wasn't for the two little holes in the back where you pass the cables through, this probably could have made a very nice looking kitchen table. It just has that kind of upscale look to it. And honestly, I think I might even get another one for my kitchen because I've always thought it would be a great idea to have a kitchen a table that is adjustable so you can sit down and eat at a normal height. And then if you want to cook on there or do something else that requires standing, you can just lift it up and then there you go. So taking a look at the desktop itself, as I said, very nice looking finish on there. And this is a one inch thick desktop that weighs 47 pounds. And then the legs themselves are also another 30, 40 pounds. So altogether, this desk weighs about 80 to 90 pounds. I couldn't find the exact weight, but definitely a very heavy duty desk that's going to last you a long time. And it doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. If you get a desk from Wayfair or Ikea, you can feel that budget feel to it but this just feels very, very well made. Coming down to the legs, as you can see, these are three piece legs. So as it goes down, they all kind of collapse into each other and it becomes about that height. And these are also made of heavy duty steel, nice and strong. And these legs have a total load capacity of 275 pounds. That is some pretty strong motors. There's a lot of cheaper legs out there that have a max load of 150, 200 pounds. So you kind of got to be a little more careful. But at 275 pounds, you could load this desk up and it's going to move up and down with no problem. So this is going to be great for gaming PCs, music producers, or someone that has heavy speakers. Or even if you're a regular person that just has a regular computer, it's nice to have that peace of mind that you can put whatever you want on top of the desk and never have to worry about overloading the legs. So taking a look at the keypad, this is what it looks like. When it's off, it's just black like that, but this does have an LED backlight. So when you click a button, the whole entire thing lights up. Very simple, up and down arrows here to manually move it up and down. And then right here, you have three memory presets. So to set this, you just set it to where you want, click that S and then click your number. And just like that, very easy, it's not programmed. I like that it has three of them because me and my wife will be using this desk. So I think most likely we're going to have it at the same setting for our sitting position. But when it comes to standing height, she's a lot shorter than me. So I can just program one for me and click that and that'll go to my right standing height. And then when she comes in, she can just click number two and that'll go to her standing height. So it makes it a little easier and kind of reminds me of like car seats. I have the same thing in my car. She drives my car sometimes. She has to click her setting. And then when I come in the car, I got to go ahead and click my setting. Otherwise, I'll end up smashed against the steering wheel. So overall, pretty simple keypad, but it has everything you need on it and it feels very well made. On top of that, when you assemble it, you have the choice of whether to mount it here or you could also mount it on the right side as well, whichever works better for you. As far as the actual assembly of the desk goes, I forgot to document that. I just wanted to get it built, but this came in two different boxes, one for the top, one for the legs. So as I said earlier, you do have the option to mix and match those, but basically the legs were about I don't know, about four or five different pieces. And then you just have the top piece, which is obviously one piece. All in all, it took me maybe about 20, 25 minutes. In some parts of the manual, it does recommend two people, but I was able to do it all by myself, no problem. The only part that was a little bit difficult was flipping over the desk, because as I said earlier, this is a very, very heavy desk, but I also managed to do that, uh, no problem as well. Another cool thing about this desk is it also has a few smart protections built in as well. So it has crash protection, overload protection, and overheat protection. So if you have something above or below the desk, that crash protection will detect it. And instead of damaging the desktop or the legs of your desk, it'll automatically stop itself and let you know with the error code on the screen. So then you can just look around the desk, correct that, and then carry on with your day and not end up with a damaged or broken desk. And then overload and overheat protection is pretty straightforward. 
I don't imagine anyone is easily going to overload this desk. As I said earlier, it has a very high weight capacity. Maybe if you're putting dumbbells or storing crates on it, then you might be able to do that. But under normal computer conditions, it's really not gonna happen. The desktop that I have here is 60 by 30, but this also comes in 55 by 27 and 47 by 24 as well. Honestly, if you have the room to put a bigger desk, definitely do that. Because one thing that fills up very easily is desk space. With my smaller office, I was never able to get a larger desk. But now that I have the shed being built, I went ahead and got their biggest option because I have speakers I plan to put on here. And this is just going to give me a whole lot of desk space and not have to worry about it getting cluttered so easily. So right now I have this desk in my garage. You might not be able to tell by this little nice setup I made here. If I look to the right, got my garage door. Look over here, I got a million bikes. But I had this set up right here temporarily because I got this for my shed that I'm having built soon, but that's been delayed. It's not gonna be built for another month, month and a half. So I just made this setup right now so I can go ahead and show you guys about this desk. And I plan to finish my shed with somewhat of a farmhouse look. I'm gonna have wood floors, I'm gonna have drywall, I'm gonna have nice lights in there. And this is gonna kind of be the centerpiece. I'm eventually probably gonna do a lot of my unboxing and videos on this desk as well. So you're probably gonna see it on my channel in the near future, but I'm definitely glad that it looks as nice as it does. Beside the desk, I also have their single arm monitor stand from Odin Lake as well. I don't have that set up right now because as I said earlier, this is a temporary setup. I didn't want to mount it on there and then have to take it back down. But I did open up the box and take a look at it and it does feel very high quality. So if you pick up this desk and need a monitor arm, I definitely recommend that one as well. For the single arm monitor stand, it can hold a screen 27 inches or less with a max of 24 pounds. Overall, this is definitely one of the better standing desks out there, especially for the price. It's built like a tank and I love that it has a high 275 pound weight limit as realistically, I think that's more than enough for anyone's needs. So overall, if you happen to be shopping for a good quality standing desk, I would highly recommend taking a look at this one here from Olden Lake. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.